Hey guys, Chris Walk here today, and I'm going to be doing a running guide for people who want to start running, or just tips for people who do run, who want to improve. So, none of these, some of these are mandatory, but most of these are just kind of, if you want to go spend a little more, or if you want to work a little more, it will help a little. First, we'll start with shoes. As you can see at my shoes, these are Brooks Ghost 12s. I'll take that real quick. I don't know if you can see too well. These are Ghost 12s. Any kind of Brooks or A6 running shoes will work. But yeah, I recommend those. And you can use regular tennis shoes, but your feet are going to hurt. And there are some regular tennis shoes that will be able to DK, but the test to see if you should be using these shoes or not is you move this up towards here, and if you could fold your shoe in half, it's not any good. See? I can fold my shoe up like that. It's not any good. Kobe. I'm running. So, yeah, um, looking to the, uh, the first running tip is if you have a coach or do it for like with the coach or your school team your coach has probably brought this up or had a drill it's called like lengthen your strides I even out my feet real quick instead of what you're walking you may be walking like that or when you're running you may be running with your feet like that but you do not want to be doing that you want to be running with your legs farther out so you're using less energy and you're moving your legs less. Because if you're running like this and that's how far your strides are, your people who have longer strides are going to be able to move faster. Or if you're running like this, you're going to go much farther. The next tip I have is as long as it, this works as long as it's dry. If it's dry out, this works great. It's, here, I'm at my feet again. When you put your feet down, instead of running like this, you're putting your feet flat down. You wanna run, you wanna land on your heel, and kinda roll your foot forward. It's called heel to toe. So when you're running, you wanna run like this, instead of like this. So, uh, yeah, so heel to toe. But if it is raining or wet, Heel to toe is not the best because when you go put your heel down, you could slip and then you could fall, which you don't want to be doing that mid race because that slows you down and you could hurt yourself. What you want to be doing if it is wet, you want to be kind of landing, kind of not on your toes, but kind of towards the beginning of your middle and then putting your foot down. So you'll be running like that. Okay, so the next tip is whenever we're going to be going up the hill, how to run. And as you can see, looking up the hill, it's not very, it's not the most steep There are much steeper hills than I would, this is just the best that's near my house. So, okay. So, um, the first tip, obviously, well, not obviously, but you want to be going from butt to ear, just pumping your arms the whole time you're going uphill. You, you like when you're running normally, some, it's okay sometimes just to be like this, pumping your arms. But when you're running uphill, you won't be pumping your arms. It's kind of like if you're pulling a rope. You won't be pulling a rope pretty much. And it's going to help your speed go up when you're going uphill and you won't be using near as much energy. Okay, so next, like I said, heel to toe. That's going to help tremendously. It's First of all, it's really quiet, so if you're right up next to someone, you're not breathing hard, they may know you're not there, and you might get an easy pass, or be able to catch up to them and pass them later on the race. And it's just better, your heel won't hurt as bad afterwards, and you won't have bad ankles. So yeah, this is how you should be running uphill. Now that was fast. Yeah. Okay, so next, teaching you how to run downhill in the most efficient way possible. So, what when you're going downhill, 
you want, you know how I was talking about like doing your strides earlier? When you're going downhill, you want your strides to be really long. You want your strides to be way out here instead of like here. Because when you're going downhill, you can go faster, lengthen your strides more and run harder. Go way faster than you would be on flat surface without having to use near as much energy. And there's been times where I may have been behind someone by 15, 20 feet. And we go to a downhill part, just downhill on the slope. Just me, right, let's move this way real quick. Just me lengthening my strides and running harder has made it where I was able to go down the hill faster and catch up or pass them. So yeah, let me teach you how to do that. Like I said, you want to lengthen your stride. You want to come here on. Yeah, come here. Okay. Excuse me if there's some weird noises because my dog is so funny in the background. But the next tip I want to get into is hydration. I know pretty much any sport you've ever played or just any sport you've ever played, your coach has probably brought up hydration at least a hundred thousand times. Because it is very important and I can tell a difference whenever I drink half a gallon of water in a day and maybe a cup in a day because the next day when I run or even that afternoon if I run I'm not going to be able to run I'm going to be out of energy I'm going to feel like I'm going to throw up and it's just it's a complete it's pretty much like drinking a bunch of alcohol before driving you're just not the same while you're doing it after you do that so yeah thank you for watching the video Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and if we get seven likes, I will do more tutorials on whatever y'all want. So make sure to comment below if you want any other tutorials, and I'll do which ones are available. So yeah, peace.